Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will discuss how to do the Vermeer scale by using the given data. We are using this scale for marking three consecutive units. For example, meters, decimeters and centimeters. These three consecutive units we can mark on this scale. We have one more scale also for marking those three units. It is called diagonal scale. Let us do the Vermeer scale by using the given data. If one centimeter long line on a map represents a real length of four meters. Okay, here one map has given in it one centimeter line will show four meters. Next, calculate the RF. RF means representative fraction and draw a Vernier scale long enough to measure up to 50 meters. This Vernier scale can measure up to maximum limit 50 meters. Stop. Show a distance of 44.5 meters on it. On this 50 meters Vernier scale, we have to mark 44.5 meters. Okay, let us do the Vernier scale. Initially, we will calculate RF value. RF means gestural representative fraction. Okay, in the shortcut form RF we are writing. It is equal to, it is a ratio of two values. Drawing length, that is we can able to do in the sheet. Right, virginal length. This length we can't do on the sheet. Okay, it is called virginal length. So, in the given map, one centimeter long line, we can able to do on the sheet, one centimeter. So, it is nothing but here we have to write, drawing length is one centimeter divided by virginal length so one centimeter will represent four meters so four meters in the any ratio this unit should be same so let us take one centimeter convert this is also in centimeters as we know one meter means hundred centimeter hundred okay one by four hundred so rf is one by four hundred after finding rf value we need to do the vernier scale for doing the vernier scale we need to find the length in the drawing sheet how much length of the vernier scale we have to draw but he has given vernier scale should measure up to maximum limit 50 meters is it possible to do 50 meters in the sheet so it is not possible so it is the original length of that scale 50 meters we need to find this drawing length drawing length is which we can able to do in the sheet you just take down we have to find this value drawing length i will write here what is the original length 50 meters we need to find the drawing length here Okay, keep as it is drawing length so send this 50 meters here by 400 so here drawing length it should be in centimeter we can able to draw in the sheet okay so write down here convert this also in centimeters okay. 50 1 meter means 100 centimeter divided by 400 so these two zeros will be cancelled and 50 by 4 4 1 ja, 4 2 ja, 0.5 okay 12.5 centimeters so drawing length of that scale is 12.5 centimeter this is nothing but 50 meters okay so 50 meters we can't able to do in the sheet that's why we have calculated drawing length this length is equal to 12.5 centimeter so mark this length by using the scale here mark the end points do a line here just take 1 centimeter 1 centimeter height and make one box join these two ends I took this scale 12.5 centimeter it is nothing but 50 meters okay divide this scale into some parts how many parts we have to divide so we can decide how many parts we have to divide by using this value okay if you are dividing into five parts okay this scale let us assume we are dividing into five parts means each part is 10 meters so 10 meters 10 meters 10 meters like that five parts means 50 meters so divide this into five equal divisions here in engineering drawing we have one process of dividing any line into some equal number of divisions just take one inclined line here okay of some length take any angle here by using compass okay take any radius take this initial point as center by using compass do an arc here this is the first part and take this is the center and do the second part and take the next point as the center do the third one take this as the center do the fourth one and this as the center do the fifth one okay let us count one two three four five join this last point to this last point of the scale so here we will get one inclined line okay at all these points do the lines parallel to this line okay so I am using roll scale for doing the parallel lines 
you can use drafter easily for getting the parallel lines okay fix the drafter scale here like this and move the scale at all the points just do the thin lines now here we got equal divisions 1 2 3 4 5 give the names for it start from 0 this is 1 2 3 4 and this is the fifth one so at all these points do the vertical lines so that it will indicate five parts okay, take this is the reference line move the scale so this and this is the main scale the length maximum length is 50 meters here we have divided 50 meters into five parts each part is 10 meters again divide this 10 meter into 10 parts okay if you are dividing 10 meters into 10 parts each part is 1 meter okay so divide this 10 meters into 10 parts means divide this length into 10 equal divisions for dividing this length into 10 equal divisions we have to follow the same process we have to do the inclined line here so instead of taking the same line I am taking one more inclined line here we can take any angle okay that angle should be less than 90 okay do here at initial point one line take the small length for dividing this small length okay by using compass any radius so start from this point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay. just recount once again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay. take the last intersection point join this point to 1 here also by using drafter it is easy to do the parallel lines and at all the points do the line parallel to this last line here at all the intersection points do the vertical lines okay take this is the reference line move the scale okay here we have divided this 10 meters into 10 equal parts each part is 1 meter okay so like that divide this 10 meters also 10 parts and this 10 meters also 10 parts like that so here we have divided into 10 parts take the same length here okay each part length by using component okay first box length and here also first part second third four five six seven eight nine this is the tenth one similarly at all these points do the vertical lines okay here also divide this into 10 parts so same process i am doing here also make it into 10 here also make it into 10 follow the same process so at all these points do the vertical lines So all boxes we have divided into 10 parts okay now here this is the main scale okay. we have to do the vernier scale here okay for doing the vernier scale we have to extend this main scale okay so for doing extension just do the extended lines here of some length here also do the lines same thickness one centimeter okay now mark this side whatever this length okay it is how much 10 meters okay take that length by using compass whatever this length first part okay mark this side also same length here do the line vertical line and remove the extended part okay this is how much length whatever this length is there 10 meters we have marked here also 10 meters now divide this 10 meters into 10 divisions follow the same process by using compass take this length first part length at all these points do the vertical lines so here we have divided this 10 meters into 10 divisions 10 parts each part is 1 1 meter mark the values so this is a zero initially this is one so take this is two meters okay this is three this is four four meters alternate numbers i am marking okay four five six seven eight nine ten okay here this point so we can mark ten here 
okay each one is 11 meter after marking meters here here extend this line okay up to some length after extending the line on this line mark here this is 10 meters okay 10 divisions plus 1 okay 11 divisions length we have to mark on this line from 0 to this line let us take here this is one box okay 10 divisions plus 1 okay 11 divisions length we are taking okay by using compass whatever this 11 divisions length is coming so from this zero point as center mark on this extended line okay so at this point do one centimeter line now here also at zero do the line vertical line up to one centimeter okay here one centimeter here one centimeter join these two ends here on this vernier scale we took 11 parts length okay here 10 parts plus one okay 11 parts length we are marking by using compass so always remember for any vernier scale whatever divisions we are dividing okay that number of divisions plus one okay let us assume in example we are dividing into five parts Okay, 5 plus 1, 6 parts distance we have to mark here. Got it. Okay, whatever number of parts we are doing, those parts plus the other part. Whatever that length is coming, we have to mark on this side for the vernier scale. Okay, now this is a vernier scale. What is this length? Just now I told this is 10 meters plus 1 meter, 11 meter distance. Divide this 11 meters into same number of parts. Here each box we are dividing into 10 parts. Here also divide this vernier scale also 10 parts. Okay, that is nothing but 11 meter scale we are dividing into 10 parts okay so how to divide this length into 10 parts means follow the same process in engineering drawing we have to do the inclined line here also we can do but it is coming in the main diagram just do that line and divide this into 10 divisions so here we have to divide this length into 10 parts we have to take small radius okay for dividing the small length take this point as center first part second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth nine ten now join this last point to this point now at all these points do the lines parallel to this line So at all these intersection points, do the vertical lines. Divide this into 10 parts. Let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now mark the numbering here. For marking the numbers here, 10 parts, we are taking 11 meters. For one part, how much? So it is less only. For more parts, more length. For less part, less length. Less by more into 11. Okay. So what is less value in these two? 1. 1 by what is more value? 10 into 11 okay each part is 11 by 10 meters it is 1.1 meter each part is 1.1 meters but in this scale vernier scale we have to mark decimeters what is the relation between meters and decimeters 1 meter means 10 decimeter okay 1.1 meter means 1.1 into 10 okay 11 decimeters now here each box is 11 decimeters it is starting from 0 okay just now I will mark this side also 0 here here this is 11 I am marking alternate line here this is 22 this is 11 decimeters this is 22 decimeters next 33 decimeters next 44 decimeters next 55 decimeters next 66 decimeters here 77 decimeters here 88 decimeters Okay, here 99 decimeters, here 110 decimeters. Okay, like so here we have divided into 10 parts, each part is 11 decimeters. So this will read the decimeter, this will read the meters. Okay, for this main scale, I am giving the corner names A, B, C, and D. For the vernier scale, also mark the name E, F, G, H. So here A, B, C, D is the main scale after that. EFGH is a vernier scale. This main scale will measure meters. This vernier scale will measure decimeter. In it, what we have to mark? In the given question, we have to mark 44.5 meters. 
ओके जस्ट राइट डाउन हियर रफली फोर्टी फोर पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स वी हैव टू मार्क ओके हियर आफ्टर दिस पॉइंट वट एवर नंबर इज कमिंग टेक दैट नंबर इन द वेरनियर स्केल ओके वेर द फाइव इज कमिंग लास्ट नंबर ओके हियर फिफ्टी फाइव इज कमिंग करेक्ट फिफ्टी फाइव डेसी मीटर सो फिफ्टी फाइव डेसी मीटर मीन्स फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स करेक्ट सो रिमूव दिस फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स फ्रॉम दिस गिवेन वैल्यू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स करेक्ट नो वी हैव वी नीड टू डू माइनस इफ यू आर डूइंग माइनस फाइव माइनस फाइव मीन्स जीरो इन फोर्टीन माइनस फाइव मीन्स नाइन हियर वी विल गेट थ्री थर्टी नाइन मीटर्स ओके इंस्टेड ऑफ मार्किंग दिस वैल्यू वी हैव टू मार्क दिस वैल्यू एंड दिस वैल्यू सो दैट इफ यू आर टेकिंग दिस टू सम टोटल वी विल गेट दिस वैल्यू हियर वी विल गेट थर्टी नाइन मीटर्स इनिशियली मार्क दिस वैल्यू फाइव पॉइंट फाइव मीटर्स दैट इज फिफ्टी फाइव डेसी मीटर्स वेर फिफ्टी फाइव विल कम एट दिस पॉइंट जस्ट डू वन वर्टिकल लाइन हियर एट फिफ्टी फाइव मीटर्स जस्ट एक्सटेंड द लाइन हियर एंड देन एट थर्टी नाइन एक्सटेंड वन लाइन थर्टी नाइन मीटर्स वी नीड टू मार्क इन द मीटर्स के सो फ्रॉम जीरो टू दिस इज टेन मीटर्स ट्वेंटी मीटर्स थर्टी मीटर्स दिस इज फोर्टी वी नीड टू मार्क थर्टी नाइन मीन्स नेक्स्ट लाइन ईच इज वन वन मीटर सो एक्सटेंड दिस लाइन हियर एंड थर्टी नाइन एक्सटेंड द लाइन नो दिस गैप विल गिव दिस वैल्यू ओके फॉर मार्किंग द डायमेंशन जस्ट डू वन डायमेंशनल लाइन हियर at the middle mark 44.5 meters keep arrows at both sides so what we did here so this side we took 5.5 meters from 0 to this side from 0 to this side we took 39 meters okay this value plus the remaining value if you are adding these two we will get this value 44.5 so in this way we can mark the dimension Here mark the main scale length. How much it is? We did drawing length, twelve point five meters. Okay, we have calculated R F value also. How much it is? One by four hundred. So at the end, write down R F is equal to one is to four hundred. Let us take one more example. Okay, it has not given. Let us assume we will mark this value in this linear scale. Okay, for marking this, let us take. So after point six is there. Okay, in decimeter scale, where the six is coming? Sixty six is coming. Sixty six decimeter. ओके सिक्सटी सिक्स डेसी मीटर मीन सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स करेक्ट ओके रिमूव सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स फ्रॉम दिस वैल्यू ओके सिक्स माइनस सिक्स मीन जीरो हियर आल्सो इट इज जीरो थ्री विल कम हियर सो इन दिस वी हैव टू इनिशियली मार्क सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स वेर सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स मीन सिक्सटी सिक्स डेसी मीटर विल कम हियर हियर एक्सटेंड द लाइन एट सिक्सटी सिक्स अप टू सम लेंथ ओके नो आफ्टर दैट मार्क दिस वैल्यू थर्टी सो फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन टेन मीटर्स ट्वेंटी मीटर्स थर्टी एट थर्टी टू द वर्टिकल लाइन नो दिस गैप विल गिव दिस वैल्यू जस्ट टेक दिस इज द रेफरेंस लाइन डू द डायमेंशनल लाइन की पैरोस दिस वैल्यू इज थर्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर्स So if you are adding thirty plus six point six, it is coming thirty six point six. Okay, this value from zero to sixty six six point six. From zero to this value is thirty. Total is thirty six point six meters. So in this way we can mark the given dimensions. The other video lectures of scales. Video link I will give in description box. Please check it. If you like this lecture, hit the like button, subscribe my channel, and share with your friends. Thank you for watching.